Hello and welcome to A Spark of Inspiration. On today's episode, I will be speaking about the blessings of rejection. Now together, those two don't seem to go hand in hand, um, but in a moment, I'll explain what I mean by blessing of rejection. So rejection is something that we all experience at some point in time in our lives, whether it's as a child in classroom or school settings, or as an adult within the workplace. Whenever we experience rejection, it's something that is hurtful and it is something that can stay with you for a long period of time, especially if you let it take root. So some of the things that we do when we do experience rejection is to isolate. We tend to isolate ourselves because we don't wanna feel that way anymore. We want to stay away from that feeling and as long as we don't give anyone any area to, to come near us or, or be close to us or, or even to allow ourselves to feel that vulnerability, we will isolate ourselves to keep that from happening yet again. It becomes a protection. It's, it's a mechanism to help protect ourselves. But in all honesty, pivoting to the blessing part, rejection is protection. There are things that happen unbeknownst to us that we are unaware of. And if we knew what, if we knew everything that we heard and if we knew certain things that people were doing or saying behind our backs, if we knew the type of plans or vendettas or, or whatever it may be that people had for us, we would understand that if we're being rejected, that is actually protecting us from something that could harm us even more. You know, and sometimes we all have talents, gifts and abilities, and not everyone is, is should be privy to what we have and, and who we bless our gifts to. So, so rejection is protection protecting us from things that occur that we have no idea that is happening um, behind our backs. There are people who may be talking about us in boardrooms or maybe friends and family who are talking about us and plotting about what they can do from us. And we may get that feeling and that inkling around them. And we may not even understand what, what we're feeling or, or, or what that is, but we just know that it's a feeling of rejection and we want to feel accepted. It's, it's a natural part of being a human being but sometimes it's we just need to understand that some, rejection can be a blessing it's protecting us from something that could harm us even further down the line and I would also gather to say that there's blessing and rejection because sometimes you need to be overlooked not everyone should be privy to your talents gifts and abilities there are people who, if they know they will exploit and you know, maybe they have already exploited, which is why, you know, you're feeling rejected. But sometimes just being overlooked is is protection in itself. It's a blessing. If if people got a hold of what you're truly capable of and if you knew exactly what you're truly capable of and what you have to offer, there are people who are there that may exploit that. And sometimes being rejected is protection from those things. So you're not being exploited and, and you're not being used or leveraged to, to do someone else's own bidding. And sometimes there's, there's a bigger purpose at play. So with rejection, this may not be your time. There may be something bigger and better in store for you. So just realize that you're being protected from something. So rejection in and of itself is a blessing. Just continue to stay bold, continue to, to send up those praises and know that whatever is in store for you is much bigger, much better than what you're being protected from.